All right, guys, this week we've got collective calendar booking, social posting updates, as well as updates to email reporting that are really cool, all coming your way in this week's GHL Weekly Breakdown coming right up. All right, guys, before I get started with any updates to the actual product this week, I wanted to let you know that High Level has a new YouTube playlist on their YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed to High Level's YouTube channel, go over and subscribe. They have a new playlist called Released Radar, where they go more in depth into some of the features that I talk about on this weekly breakdown. So make sure you subscribe over there. Check out that Released Radar. If any of the uh, features that I talk about in the weekly breakdown, if any of them catch your attention, just pop into the search bar in YouTube, search Search the feature, search release radar, and high level likely has something uh, diving a little bit deeper where you can explore the use case for you and your business. All right, first up, as far as updates from High Level, we have a new feature that has been live in labs for a little bit. I think it's still going to take a, another week or two. I'm not exactly sure within labs when the go live date is, but within the next week or two, you will see go live in everybody's account, the ability to associate multiple phone numbers with an individual contact. This is really cool. This gives us the ability to uh, deduplicate contacts in a lot of scenarios where we would have saved three instances of the same contact so that we could have three different ways of reaching them. Now, now we have the ability to associate all three different ways of reach, reaching them to the same contact. So they first rolled this ability out with email a couple months ago. Now we have the ability to do the same thing with phone numbers, which makes it really easy. Uh, if you want to dial out from the dialer, for example, if you go in and you search the name of the contact that you're dialing, you will get the option uh, of which of the phone numbers, if you have multiple phone numbers, two, three, four phone numbers associated with that individual, it'll give you the option of which of those phone numbers you want to dial out from the dialer. And you'll see all all of those all of the engagements with those different phone numbers in one conversation view. So a really cool function uh, for being able to manage communication with your contacts, especially when you have different phone numbers and different email addresses for them. All right, next up, we have an update to collective bookings inside of calendars. So the update is a, a pretty simple update. It's just the ability to use Google Meet or Zoom meetings as a meeting location for a collective booking. Now, I'm not gonna dive deep into this feature specifically because I don't think we've got a lot of people that are using using the collective booking functionality in the first place. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna dive into the calendar section inside of High Level and show you guys where you can select collective booking, what collective booking means, as well as any other options that you guys have uh, when setting up a, a calendar inside of High Level. Calendar is a really cool functionality. It allows you to replace Calendly, a point fix, uh, and other tools like that, acuity scheduling, et cetera. A really cool functionality that every loan officer that uses High Level should definitely be using in their business. So check this out. All right, so once we're in high level, we will. We first need to go to the calendar section. We can either go to settings first and then calendars, or we can go directly to calendars on our home screen, okay? So once we go to calendars, we're gonna go to calendar settings, and then creating a calendar is gonna open up the different types of calendars that we can create. So we can either, either create a simple calendar, uh, which is basically just a, uh, it, like not necessarily assigning it to an individual, um, but it, this is gonna be used for like, if you have one person using a high level account, simple calendar is gonna be the easiest way to get up and running. Um, we have round robin. This is gonna be for if you have multiple people that are using the same calendar and you wanna be able to divide uh, the uh, appointments among the people that are assigned to that calendar. So think multiple sales reps or uh, loan partners, right? Something along these lines, you can designate priorities within this as well, um, which makes it really cool for being able to, uh, like I said, sales reps are what we use this for internally. Um, but you know, if you have loan partners, you have an LP1 and an LP2, and you want your LP2 to be available if your LP1 is not, you can set this up all within the round robin. Class booking, this is gonna be, it says right here, contacts can schedule a meeting with a single person on your team. We haven't used this. Actually, this might be what we use for my agent classes. I'm not 100% sure, um, but this one is a fairly new functionality. This is going to allow basically a many to one ratio where you're gonna uh, be able to allow multiple people to book for the same time slot. That's the use case for this. So again, classes, lunch and learns, et cetera, that's where you're gonna use this functionality. The last one and the one that the update is pertaining 
to as collective booking. Collective booking is basically being able to combine availability between three or four people on your team or multiple people on your team and having a calendar that represents the combined availability of those. So think like uh, conversations where you, your loan partner and your borrower need to be involved or you, your LOA and your borrower need to be involved in the same conversation. You, your agent and your borrower being involved in the same conversation. This would be the use case for collective booking and you now have the ability to associate your Zoom account to that so that when somebody books on a collective booking calendar, you can still associate a Zoom meeting link to it even though there are multiple people technically that are gonna be involved with that meeting. So that's calendar bookings. Again, the reason I dive into this is just because I think that it's something that is under leveraged, under, underutilized. Uh, the update this week is not nearly as important as just showing you guys the functionality of calendars and how you can use them in your business. All right, next up, we have an update to social posting. So in this week's Zoom room, we spent 20, 30 minutes talking about the social planner. This was a really cool uh, segment, I should say, whatever you, know, whatever you wanna call it, a really cool bit where we just talked about the social planner and we really just walked through exactly what it would look like if you were wanting to schedule out social media posts for you and your business. Go back, check out that Zoom room. We're gonna chop that up and we're gonna put it in uh, you know, a, a format where you'll be able to tell exactly what it is, but it's last week's Zoom room. Today is the 13th, so it would've been the Zoom room that took place on the 12th. Yesterday's Zoom room, I should say this week. Um, so check that out if you're interested in the social planner, um, but let me show you exactly what the update is this week. All right, so the update this week is just the ability to customize your posts as you're posting to multiple uh, platforms at once. So what this pertains to is if I go in and I wanna make a post and I wanna post to my Google My Business profile, my Facebook profile, my Facebook group, and my LinkedIn profile, and let's say I wanna post my LinkedIn profile and my business pro LinkedIn profile. Now I have the ability with this toggle right here to customize for each channel that I'm posting on. Different uh, platforms have different formats, have different uh, have, have different ways that people interact with the social media platforms, and so social social content should look slightly different based on what platform you're posting it to. This will also get the platforms to not penalize you for posting the same shit on five different platforms at the same time. So this is a really cool feature. It was the number one most requested feature when it came to the social planner and it is now live inside of your accounts. Again, all you gotta do is click this customize for each channel toggle and now you have the ability to create a different post or a slightly different post for each variation or for each uh, platform that you're posting on. Really cool feature. All right, next up, we've just got some funnel and website speed improvements. So yesterday, Tuesday the 12th, I think a lot of us experienced a, a massive slowdown with funnels and websites and the funnel builder specifically. If you weren't using it at that time, then you didn't notice, but we definitely did internally. Typically, this is always uh, accompanied by an upgrade, an update that's happening behind the scenes. We didn't know about it until after the fact, but they did in fact push out an update to funnels and websites where they improved the infrastructure and they said a minimum 10% performance increase across the board, whether you're using funnels or websites, and you don't have to do anything to get the benefit of that. So that's just an update that High Level did behind the scenes. And now if you're using funnels or websites on High Level, you're getting the benefit of that as well. All right, next up, another update to the community feature. So inside of High Level now, you have the ability to create your own community. And this community is hosted on a platform that is like your own domain, right? So this is not Facebook, a Facebook community. This is a uh, uh, ABC Mortgage, an ABC Mortgage community, right? Or a home loans in the Treasure Valley, Idaho community, right? You can create a community, take it off of Facebook, especially if you're not one to enjoy Facebook. And now you also get the benefit of being able to uh, manage a lot more of that experience where on Facebook, you have their attention being pulled in a million different directions. If you can get people to show up in this community, you control all of that attention. So this is a really cool thing. We've been talking about it on weekly, on the weekly breakdowns for the last few weeks. They continue to push out more updates around this we will do a deep dive into communities at the point that we feel like it's crossed the threshold of being worth it for us and for our clients to invest in at this point just keep an eye on it and if you are somebody that's using and benefiting from the communities feature let us know we'd love to hear from you all right, last we have some really, really cool updates to the email reporting functionality inside of campaigns within your high level accounts. So inside of high level, if you are not using the email builder currently and you're doing any sort of email marketing whatsoever, you're messing up. The email builder inside of high level is the easiest 
email builder to use that I've ever used personally. The uh, most customizable, most user-friendly, our email deliverability is amazing, which has nothing to do with the actual email campaign and the builder inside of there, but our configuration behind the scenes. Um, but that's that's a topic for a different day, right? But the point is, is that email marketing inside of high level, this is one of the things that we are so bullish on at Empower LO. Uh, and now they've massively improved your reporting capabilities once you have sent emails to your list. So check it out. This is what it looks like. All right, so uh, inside of email campaigns, so if I go to emails and I go to campaigns, you'll see, right, we send a lot of these one-off campaigns. What you're not gonna see in here, you're not going to see emails that go out via workflows. So if you have emails that are going out from like an autoresponder campaign or any sort of automation you have set up through a workflow, you are not going to see them in this list. I went inside the workflow and I opened up an email from inside of a workflow to see if this expanded reporting capability was available for those emails yet. It is not. I imagine it will be at some point, but it is not yet. So from what I can tell, the only place that I can access these expanded email reports is by going into campaigns and looking at the campaigns that I've sent from there. So if I go in here and I click on statistics, this is old, this, this was already there, okay? But now I have the ability to click this load more statistics button and it pulls up a much more advanced and much more comprehensive view, one that I know people on our team are gonna be really excited about. And I know loan officers and marketing teams for more mortgage companies that are going to be really excited about this as well. So this is just a expanded reporting functionality that is available. This is all information um, that you likely could not access before inside of your high level account. Now it is really easy to access just from within your campaign screen as long as you're sending out emails through there. Again, I expect that this is going to be available within workflows at some point. It is not yet, but I will keep you posted and let you know as soon as we see that. All right, guys, that is it for this week's weekly breakdown. Uh, we had quite a few updates, uh, nothing too groundbreaking or earth shattering, but some really cool updates uh, regarding calendars, regarding the social planner. So make sure you're checking out both of those new features. Check out our weekly Zoom room so you can learn more about the social planner. Make sure you join our Facebook group and get uh, added to that calendar event for the weekly Zoom room going forward. Next week, Tuesday at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. Be there or be square. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you at the top.